Now move to the question number 59 equation that is the differential equation given to us let y equals yx be the solution of the differential equation sin x into dy by dx plus y into cos x equals 4x. Some condition is given y at x equals pi by 2 is given to me 0 we have to find the value of y at x equals pi by 6. So first what we need the solution of this given differential equation we can see that given differential equation is dy by dx or simply y dash plus y cot x is equal to 4 x divided by sin x. Integrating factor of this equation is e to the power integral cot x dx. So, we can see that the integrating factor comes e to the power integral cot x dx or simply sin x. Therefore, the solution is y into sin x is equal to integral 4 x upon sin x into sin x dx plus c. So, simplifying we have y into sin x is equal to 2 x square plus c. Now, condition given to us is when x is pi by 2, y is 0. When we put x equals pi by 2, we have y equals 0, meaning that c comes, this becomes 0, this becomes 2 into pi by 2 square plus c, that is c is minus pi square by 2. So, the solution is y into sin x is equal to 2 x square minus pi square by 2. So, we need the value of y when x is pi by 6. Substitute the value for x as pi by 6 in this equation to obtain the result. y into half equals 2 into pi square by 36 minus pi square by 2. So, this gives us the value for y this becomes minus 4 pi square by 9 therefore, y is minus 8 pi square by 9. So, from the given options we can see as the minus 8 pi square by 9 is the option number 2. Hence, the correct answer is option 2. So, a question from differential equation. Now, move to the last question of this paper that is question number 60. Okay, moving to the question number 60. If L1 is the intersection of the planes 2x minus 2y plus 3z minus 2 equals 0 and x minus y plus z equals minus 1 and L2 is the line of intersection of the planes, two more pl planes are given then the distance of the origin from the plane containing the lines L1 and L2. A bit lengthy question. What we have to find in this question? First, the direction ratios for the first line, direction ratios of the second line, then one point on any of the two lines either on L1 or L2. So, starting this question first by finding the direction ratios for line 1. We can find direction ratios for line 1 using i, j, k, then 2, minus 2, 3, 1, minus 1, 1. Simplifying, we will get i plus j. Now, finding the direction ratios for the second line again writing i j k and from the normals of the other two planes that is 1 2 minus 1 and the second plane that is 3 minus 1 and 2 
right. So, this is for the second line simplifying this one we get 3 i minus 5 j minus 7 k. So, these are the direction ratios of the two lines. Now, what else we need? We need one point. Let us consider line 2. In this line 2, if I substitute z equals 0, I will be left with x plus 2y equals 3 and 3x minus y equals 1. So, writing these two planes as x plus 2y equals 3 and the other as 3x minus y equals 1. Here what we did? We substituted z equals 0. So, that we can get one point solving these two equations. Simplifying we get point as 5 by 7, 8 by 7, comma 0. Now, we have the point the direction ratios of the two lines. Hence, the required plane is simply required plane is determinant of x minus 5 by 7, y minus 8 by 7, z 1 1 0 and from the second line we had the direction ratios as 3 minus 5 minus 7. So, this gives us equal to 0. Simplifying this equation, we get the equation of plane containing two lines, right? And the equation of plane is 7x minus 7y. Just simplify some calculation required that gives us 7x minus 7y plus 8z plus 3 equals 0. The last job left for this question that is the length of perpendicular from origin to this plane. So, the required distance distance of origin is equal to modulus of 3 upon square root of 49 plus 49 plus 64 that is 162 which gives us 1 upon 3 root 2 as the distance of this plane from origin. So, from the given options we can see correct answer is option number 1. So, this question is clear a bit lengthy question. So, this is all for J main 2018 paper of mathematics. All the best for your results. Thank you.